Hey everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. I hope everybody's having a good day. Guys, today I'm going to be showing you five different ways to increase the FPS in your Minecraft. So if you're having lag troubles, hopefully this video will help you. Question of the day, what is your favorite type of tutorial to watch on YouTube for Minecraft? Answer this using hashtag question of the day in the description below. If you guys enjoy these videos, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So to get started with option number one, this is when you very first launch your Minecraft. There is a setting called launch options, which you would want to open. Now with launch options, there is one thing that you can or actually two that you can do to really help your FPS in game. Uh, so let's click on launch options and then so you can um, you can edit these right here inside of your settings. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to click on resolution. This is Minecraft's default resolution. You can open it to an HD setting of maybe 1280 by 720 if you like. This one is not very important. What is very important is the JVM argument. Now there is... Um, you know, there's there's some different things in here that you can do. This thing can be heavy, heavily edited. So one thing that I want you to do is I want you to just delete all of this out of there, except for the first line. So right now, this is a very basic setting, and this is basically telling Minecraft how much RAM to dedicate to your Minecraft game. So in this instance, it's only dedicating one gig. So to figure out how much RAM you have in your computer, simply go to your control panel, click on system properties, and it'll tell you. Now, my PC has 16 gigs, and what I would want to do, and I typically recommend this, is to dedicate at least half of what you have. So if you have 8 gigs, you would do 4, etc, etc. This is a great starting way to help you when you want to launch your game. Now, remember, these are all really easily edible and changed back. You can even delete the profiles if you don't like them. But this is a great way to do it. So just click save and then you can launch your game. All right, guys, option number two is your in-game video settings. Now, a lot of people don't use these to their best advantage. Now, if you have a good computer like, you know, say like I do with a good processor, then you can kind of skimp on these settings. But if you're you're running a lower tier computer, uh, these are where you really need to excel. So we're just going to go down the list here and talk about the most important things. And let's talk about graphics. So graphics are there's two settings. There's fancy and there's fast. Fancy are going to give you higher quality textures. Fast is going to make your game run smoother. It's going to it's going to change a lot of things in your game that you'll notice it in the graphics. So let's go ahead and talk about smooth lighting. This is ambient occlusion, and basically this is just blending the lighting of your game together. So if you have this on maximum, it's going to make your game lag a tiny bit. It's there's not very much lag in this setting, but if you want, if you're looking for maximum settings, you would want to change this to off, but I'm going to leave mine on maximum. Let's go ahead and talk about particles next up. So particles aren't really a big effect. Uh, if you have beacons, um, things like that, or potions, you're gonna see you're gonna see particle effects, and that's gonna that's gonna kind of add some some textures and things to your screen. You don't really have to worry about this one. One of the one of the vote <laughs> one of the most very important settings is VSync. So what is VSync? VSync is what caps minecraft's fps at your monitor's refresh rate so if you're looking to have a higher uh a higher fps you would want to turn this off now that can sometimes be unbalanced though it can it can range back and forth you know it's kind of a two-sided thing if you lock it you're going to have a more steady frame rate so it might be a little bit smoother for you Let's go ahead and talk about render distance. Now, I think render distance is kind of a given thing. This is how far you see in the game. The more you see, the more it's going to load, the more it's going to process on your computer, the more it's going to lag. So you just need to slide the bar. Pretty simple. Right here, max frame rate is actually one of the most like errors 
that people make when they are trying to get more FPS in their game. And I even make this mistake. After doing a bunch of research into frame rate, balanced, which is, I think, I don't know. Okay, that, that setting isn't there anymore, but um, I think unlimited is kind of balanced, but if you're having trouble with your frame rate, unlimited is definitely not the way to go for you. Unlimited is going to basically be the same thing as having VSync off. It's going to limit your, it's gonna just kind of let your, your, your FPS range and it can bounce back and forth. But if you have it capped at a certain limit, it's gonna be more of a smooth, um, smooth situation. So clouds, clouds is something similar to render distance. If you have something that you need to load, it's gonna take your computer more time to load it. So by turning them off, you're just saving your computer a little bit of trouble. And finally, let's talk about mip map levels. So mip map levels are things that you see in the distance that will um, render. So you're seeing more detail. So the lower the mip map you go, the less you're gonna see in detail and further away. So four is typically good for everybody, um, but it, if you want to put it on zero, you won't see any detail. Like there'll be, it'll, there won't be very much detail uh, when you see further down the line. So for max FPS, you would want to go graphics fast, smooth lighting off, particles um, as low as possible, VSync on, change your render distance to you know as low as it needs to be. Max frame rate would be limited to probably 30 or 60 FPS clouds off mip map levels at zero but a lot of people can kind of skimp on these settings if they want to have a better viewing experience so anyways that's number two next up guys for number three is optifine now sometimes there's just nothing that your computer can do to make your game better so that's when we're going to reach out to mods Mods are a great utility for FPS, and I think it, Optifine is obviously the go-to, but I think it's um, sometimes overlooked, to be honest with you. Now, I could spend an hour <laughs> talking about all the different options, but for, for time's sake, for your, your, your s sanity's sake, we're going to go over some of just the basics. Now, Optifine has a great thing about it. When you hover over things and it'll tell you on screen what's better. So it's gonna tell you fast is higher. It's gonna tell you like lower FPS, higher FPS, things like that. So Optifine is basically telling you what to do depending on what kind of gameplay you want. Uh, Optifine also has a thing for shaders, which is fantastic and dynamic lights. And there is so much in this mod that honestly you could just you know take a little take an hour just go through it all but if i had to pick some of the the best things obviously graphics smooth lighting i don't think that's going to change so this can lock your frame rate of these things still um but that is kind of based on your monitor as well now, some of the things inside of Optifine that you really want to look for, clouds, trees, very important. You can also turn rain and snow off, which is good. Uh, animations, animations don't exactly matter too much. Um, you don't really see them enough for it to matter. Then we can go over to quality. Uh, this, is, this is something for a lot of custom things. You really don't need to mess with that one too much. And then we want to go into performance. Uh, you can turn smooth FPS, fast render. Well, these settings right here are going to be very important. So make sure that you read over the dialog boxes when you're when you're using Optifine. Now, if you guys want a separate tutorial for Optifine to make it the most like efficient, I can do that. But I can't do it in this video. Uh, and then there's other. And the most important thing in this right here is weather. Um, rain, snow. Anything that has to do with weather in the game is going to cause you some lag. Rain is awful. It's awful to for rendering on your CPU. Um, so turn weather off. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Just turn weather off. Um, but like I said, if you guys want a better, more detailed explanation, uh, I'll be happy to do that. But Optifine is our third option. So our fourth option is another mod. This mod is called Better FPS. 
This is more on the modded side of things, but it can be used with uh, Forge if you need to. So in your options, go to better FPS options. And uh, some of the cool things about this is there is different algorithms that you can use. Now, you would probably want to kind of go through and look up these on your own. But some of the things that this one has is a lot better than actually Optifine for some simple reasons. Um, hoppers are a tremendous bit of lag in the game. Same with fog. Um, and with that being said, changing some of these small details, especially if you have a lot of redstone, um, can really help you. So fast hopper on fast creative search. Everybody knows that the creative search bar is like the laggiest thing in the world. So these, it, this offers a secondary kind of to Optifine. If you, for some reason you can't use Optifine, this would be the next mod you should go to. By default, it's already going to save you some FPS. There's just a couple more options in the settings. So you should see 20 to 30 FPS increase, hopefully, with this, depending on... Now, obviously, you can't guarantee that, but, um, you know, this should work. But, uh, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Anyways, so better FPS is our fourth option. So our fifth and final option is Minecraft Forge. Now, you're probably thinking, like, Jevin. What in the world are you talking about? So before anything, Minecraft Forge is a mod loader. We all know that. But Minecraft Forge has some great things inside of it that not a lot of people know about. Uh, for one, it optimizes Minecraft much better than vanilla. Uh, I actually know people that use Forge for that simple reason. Just, you know, just to optimize their Minecraft. So by adding this, you're going to add optimization that you wouldn't normally have. Um, but this also can lead to things like Optifine, better FPS. So having this will like really help you in the long run. Um, but that, you know, it kind of depends. So the, the situation for every person is always going to be different. Uh, but Minecraft Forge can help. And it's also a mod loader, so you can play with cool stuff. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Or not this episode, but this tutorial on how to increase your FPS. If you guys want to see more of this stuff, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Let me know down in the comment section below what you enjoy. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys all have a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out.